Hi, Stamping Friends. It's Marilyn Wagner here with Stamping Creations with Marilyn, coming to you from Spruce Grove, Alberta, Canada. And loving to share these Facebook Lives with you each week, just showing a few of the products that I'm using from Stampin' Up! And uh, hoping to pique your interest in knowing what's available and whatever. So today I have been out in the cold and the snow. Yes, we get snow in this part of the country and it wasn't very nice outside. So I'm glad to be home at my crafting table again. Also want to share with you some specials. Stampin' Up! has two or three specials happening. I have a couple specials for you. So just let me uh, turn my camera down to the desk and I can show you more things that way. So hold on. I will switch you to see kind of the back of my room as you probably have before if you've been here with me. And there is my desktop. And I'll try to tighten that so it doesn't fall over while we are visiting and, and uh, sharing. So, so like I said, welcome, welcome. On my, um, we're at a new month, which means that we are halfway through celebration. Stampin' Up's um, great event they have every year for every $60 spent in current merchandise on the Stampin' Up website, you can pick a free item out of this catalog, this little mini one. It has the donkeys, it has this ombre paper, um, other designer paper, and towards the back there is this stamp set and this bundle. If you spend 120, you get those free, you get to pick those free. If you host a party that's $375 or more, you get this free stamp set. So some great, great incentives to do things this time of um, the year. Hi, Lorene. Uh, nice to see you here. And joining during Stamping Up gives you the best deal ever. It's always a good deal because you get to spend $135, you get $165 worth of products that you pick. And at this time, you get five packages of designer paper. That's what this is about, which is 200 sheets of six by six designer paper. And that you will be able to purchase, but not until May. So if you're looking for that, just show you quickly. It is beautiful paper, of course, like all their papers are. These are the in colors. So you can see the Bumblebee, the Magenta Madness, Just Jade, Cinnamon Cider, and Midnight, no, not Midnight, Moonlight Madness there. And then, of course, there are different designs on different sides. So one of the ones I have a couple samples to show you today are using this Magenta Madness. And like I said, for that joining there, you would end up with five packages. So that's that one plus these four, which are the Regals, the Brights, the Neutrals, and the Subtles. So lots of color choices, lots of patterns to choose from and use there. So let me know if you're interested. I'll answer questions. Even if you're just thinking about it, let me know. Uh, the other Stampin' Up! things happening right now, there is a um, Hello Chick promotion, which, just let me find it in here. Wrong page, this one. So this particular set, Hey Birthday Chick, on page 52, is available, has been since the first of this catalog, but now you can get dies to go with it. Plus they have brought back a set called Hey Chick that they had in 2017. And they also have dies to go with that one. So that's kind of interesting. Um, don't think they've ever done this before. I've been with Stampin' Up! for 13 years and I haven't seen that happen. So great, great I promotion again to get in on that. Of course, if you buy a bundle, the set and the dies at together, you get the 10% as always. So some great samples, some really cute little chicks. Um, happy birthday, best of cluck there. And celebration talked about, I think that's it for, for Stampin' Up! promotions. For me, I have a new code. If you're buying 
under $200 for an order online. I'd appreciate using that code. Also appreciate you sharing my, my uh, Facebook Lives, my YouTube channel, get my name out there, because I really enjoy this stamping community that we have. And hi, Karen, good to see you. And my promotion is I have a PDF for these four cards, $15. It's a PDF to do with the Sweet Strawberry Bundle. So that is on my Facebook page. This is an offer that is good until um, Thursday, the 4th, February 4th. So just a short time, but I have created that for you. I've done the cards. I've done videos on each card on how to put them together. And that also comes with your PDF. So it's not just you reading it. It's getting the, the visual instructions as well. And that is to do with this bundle which is the Sweet Strawberry Bundle, $43 for the bundle. And if you purchase that from me using this code from now until February 14th, I will send you that PDF, including the videos. So keep that in mind. I'd love to hear from you and love to have you shopping in my store. Okay, <clears throat> so today, I oh, one other thing on my website, I have set up a poll I'm considering trying to figure out my classes and everything else and perhaps switching up this Facebook Live to be an evening one. So I just want some your opinions on it and uh, we'll take it from there. Nothing carved in stone anywhere. So please look for that. Today I am going to share with you some ideas for using the Love You Always treat boxes. Bring back that catalog because they are in there. Um, ten of them. For twelve twenty-five, and those you'll find on page eleven. Don't look like much here, but they are so cute. And once you figure it out, they're really easy to put together. So I have their food safe. First thing I want you to know, I've created a couple. I've done a couple other suggestions for that little Valentine gifts, and today I'm going to do one or maybe two of those boxes, put them together and show you what we can do with them. But before I go there, I wanna share a card that I received in the mail using a Valentine's Day stamp, and that's the one that I've used on my projects today. It's called Heartfelt, page 75 of the annual catalog. So not only are the Valentine's sets and products in the the mini catalog, but they are some, there are some in the annual catalog. So these pun these stamps match up with these punches that come as a heart punch pack. One is scalloped, one is not. They fit inside each other, which work like this, match perfectly. Just really a really well put thought out set. And that's what's happened here. So I have done the stamping but I want to show you the boxes and a few other tips that I've discovered along the way. So the boxes come like this. They're flat, a little bit big in size if you were to ship them somewhere, because what are they? They are well, about 11 and a half inches that way. So, so when you get them, these are the, the outside sleeves and believe it or not, this piece ends up as your inside box. So this is one that I've done, put together. There is no glue required for putting that together. I thought that was a pretty, pretty impressive thing. So you don't have to worry about the glue drying, the sticky tape sticking where you don't want it to, that kind of thing. And as I mentioned, it is food safe. So even though these candies are, are um, covered in foil, they're safe in there. So I just took some designer paper, measured, put it around, and I'll show you how I did that. The stamps, as I just mentioned, with the punches. And perhaps you can see the scallop one behind it. And some ribbon. And I think that's just a great treat. I've got some grandkids that I'll try and do some porch drop-offs with things like that. So, so when you get it, first of all, of course, is you've got the case and then the inside 
box. Oh, sorry. Pieces falling all over here. I will move this so that I can just show you what I did with it. It's folded there, but all the other score lines do need to be folded and burnished. And once the box is together, they will stay. But to begin with, I just folded and folded. And it's very heavy, heavy cardboard. It's a bit shiny on what's going to be the inside. So that would be the food safe part. And let me know, have any of you used something similar to this? Had good luck, bad luck? Let us know. As I said, we're, we are a stamping community and we share things with each other to help make everybody's life a little bit more pleasant. So if um, COVID wasn't around, of course, I could make these for my classes, but Right now, it's just hubby and I are going to enjoy the chocolate, so. And yes, some of it's chocolate, some of it's not, but I'll show you what I've put in the boxes afterwards. And I'm looking for your suggestions as to what can go in these boxes, please. The more the merrier. So once it's folded, what's going to happen is these tabs are going on the inside and the ends are coming over. And the biggest thing to remember is this one is going to fold this way, this one's folding this way, but this one is going to fold back once you get it all together. So, I'm going to do it, but I don't know how I'm going to do it to show you, so bear with me. I will fold it over and over, and if you do purchase these box and have difficulties with it, there is a video done by Stampin' Up, of course, much better than this one I'm doing, to show you how it all fits together. So that, you'll notice there's a little notch in here. That one will go in, and again, all of the, the end tabs fold in. So then when this one folds in, it just goes in and it snaps into that little tab. And isn't that neat, how that works? And then what I did was I just put it in the sleeve and it fits fairly snug. I have my paper to cover it and it is cut at nine and a half by four. The box is just just a touch over four as you can see with the because I've got the darker paper and then I scored it which I will show you on my scoreboard. I find yes we have a scoring tool on our uh, paper trimmer, but I find when I do something like this, I like to do it on the scoreboard. It just seems to score it a little bit better. And I was able to mark where I'm gonna score. And if I'm doing a number of these, because there are 10 of them that come in the package, I could do them all and not have to think about where, where they're going to be scored. So got my paper upside down but this is I'll read it that way so the first score is at one and a half so I've got my marker then at three then at five and three quarters and seven and one quarter so that and I keep that template like I say so I don't forget what what numbers I'm supposed to be scoring at then when I had that together I want my seam to be on the bottom and I did burnish these before. So just fold it around and glue it. And I used my liquid glue. And remember which way I wanted it to go. I think what I did was I put the glue on this piece. We'll try it. And you could, I don't see any reason why you couldn't, glue it to the box as well, but I didn't on those, and I don't know if it really, <clears throat> really needs to be glued to the box. You tell me. Does it? I think it will stay put for what we're doing. Then to decorate it, I 
have stamped and cut an, a, a, two hearts. And I love this sparkle ribbon. What is it called? Metallic. Metallic ribbon. But it sparkles. I could just see my little granddaughter wanting some of this to play with. And it is a pink, not identical. This is Rococo Rose and this is uh, Lushing Bride. But it's good, close enough. On this one, it is Blushing Bride designer paper, so therefore, it maybe matches a little bit better. But I think on this one, I'm going to just put a piece around it. My heart is going to go there. Uh, maybe my heart is going to go there. And then I might put a little bow on there. So to put ribbon on like that, I would use a glue dot. And this ribbon is not the same on both sides. I guess you could use the, the, uh, not the sparkle side, the other side, whatever it would be called. But for me today, I'm going to do this. And I'm just going to trim it with my lovely ribbon scissors that I've saved. We had them with Stampin' Up! before. No longer have those scissors available, but they are still in my drawer because there's nothing better than them to, for ribbon, as far as I'm concerned. So I'm just going to use glue dots. So there's my ribbon. I'm going to use dimensionals to mount my hearts. And... Like I said, maybe I will put a ribbon. Whoops, it's on here, not on there. So let me know, what are you doing for Valentine's? I've seen lots and lots of promotions by restaurants for, of course, ordering and picking up meals and great combinations, just like they, they actually had some out here in Spruce Grove, they had some for Christmas even, so. We don't normally do a lot of different things for, for Valentine's, my hubby and I, so probably not this time either. Um, do I want that to show? You know what? Kind of like the angle, so I'm going to do that with it. And then I'm going to use my, my little bunny ears and tie a Oh, well, that's not going to work very good because that one's coming over that way. Okay, well, maybe we will just take a piece of it and if I tie a knot as such. need it that long. So, making homemade pizza sounds good. Haven't done that for a long time. I used to do that lots when our kids were here, were little, obviously, they're not anymore. Um, and they had Chef Boyardee pizza mix. Did you guys ever use those? I uh, would come up with our own toppings, but we used the the Chef Boyardee pizza mix for the crust because I never have been good at making that but sounds yummy Lorene. So I will uh, use this for my a little bit more sparkle and because I want that ribbon to have the sparkle side I think I think I lost my scissors oh, no, there they are. I will uh, just tuck another glue dot there and trim my ribbons there and then as a final touch on the other ones I don't know if you noticed but I have the resin hearts which are red and white and I used I used red on that one I think maybe on this one I'll use white, and they match perfectly in these little hearts. 
So I will just pop a couple of those on for a little bit more dimension and saying, look at I made this for you. I love you. I love you. And rule of three, we've, we've talked about this many times in our events that we try to put. Okay, so that is one. I will uh, put in that one. I have some of these candies and I'm sure you've all seen them. They're called sweet notes, but they're ones with words, small conversation hearts. And because this is food safe, I can do that. I can add candies just like that. So there again, another grandchild receiving that, having it um, shaking and rattling. This one I did with another kind of paper from this set, just with the gray, and used, um, if you can see, let me see if I can, it is, you see the glare on it? What I did was I stamped it and then I put packing tape over it before I punched it out so it's really shiny. Both, both hearts are for that one. And that one I found, look at that, I used the ribbon right around that one too. Found a small box of Smarties that fit. Actually, looking at it, I only bought one, but it looks like you could get two boxes in there. So we have some grandkids that are, they're in their 20s, but they um, still like candy, so that one. Um, another one, I have a little granddaughter and she loves hair stuff. So we have these um, boxes. They come flat and you just fold them, pop them up, whatever. So I made one of those. I used the glimmer paper. <laughs> Lorene, when do I stop by for mine? Um, I'll let you know, okay? Um, and this is the Magenta Madness ink. Um, well, actually, it's black on Magenta Madness cardstock. So it, it shows through that way. And I didn't like the back of the packaging of the hairband showing, so I put another piece of paper in there with, with a stamp on it. And it is a... Oh, I can never remember the name of it. That type of stamp that isn't the same all over, so you can see it's lighter here and darker here. So... Um, that one, and then we also have a 3x3 three three clear plastic box, and for that one I used a stamp from that set again, which is just this one. This one would have worked. I used it on something. Where the heck did I use it? Oh, I know. It's on my other um, kit I've got ready. And punched it out, oh actually before I, no, I punched it out and then I used our new blending brushes to add more of that color because white was just too bright. Used a little white heart on there and I filled that with butterscotch candies. So, and this paper is from the strawberry set, the, the one that I'm featuring in that offer that I mentioned earlier. You just cut strips, three, no, oh, two. This is two by two by two. This box has a three inch. Yeah, this is a three inch. So so all kinds of little packaging things that we do have at Stamping Up that you could use for Valentine's or any other time. So this one, you could certainly use birthdays and whatever. But, oh, and here's one more done with that two by two by two box. This paper is from the Strawberry Bundle in Celebration, the one where you get the paper and the stamp set. I stamped and punched out their some of their two-step stamping and also used the punch to punch out the words. And that one I didn't take out my tissue paper and put in candy because I just bought the candy yesterday. So I will do that. So did you want to see this box going together again? Maybe a little bit easier. I can, uh, can show you one more because I've got this, this paper cut to go with it. So, oh, where are my pieces? Again, the folds. Definitely burnish them. All directions. 
and this one is going back, so I'll burnish it that way this time. These guys go this way and this way. This one will go this way and this one will go back. And again, and for those of you watching who attended our staycation on the weekend, thank you so much. We had a great time, as we hope you did. And we're already looking forward to the next one, planning for May 29th with our new catalog that will be out. So stay posted, or stay, stay watching, and uh, we will certainly be sharing information on that. So again, my cover for the box and the box. So these tabs go in and these pieces fold over down and back. These tabs go in. I could see my my little grandkids saying, "Grandma, I can do that better than you. Let me try." So there's basically the box and then when this one goes in, it snaps into that little notch. And that's it. So hopefully that's given you some ideas. I'm going to cover this one, like I say, with this paper. This is another paper from, actually both of these are from Celebration. So you get all kinds of variety. And for this one, I stamped and used the Rococo Rose. And oh, that's another thing I was going to mention to you. The five in colors that were introduced in 20, 20, 2019. The uh, Rococo Rose is one of them, but there are five colors there and they will be retiring when this new catalog comes out. So if you haven't got your refills, ink refills for your ink pads, strongly suggest you do because they sell out quickly when the retiring uh, list is announced. I, for one, do buy those as soon as I buy the ink pad because I never know, of course, what um, technique I might be using and some of it might use stamp or ink refills. So I like having them. But I also recently had a customer ask me for some really old ink refills and they're no longer available and I do not have them. So she's kind of hooped. She's got the ink pad, but she doesn't have the um, the refills. So So keep that in mind as you're going through your your list, your shopping list. So so ideas for what else I can put in these boxes. Anyone have some? I have, again, because I mentioned my little granddaughter, I've also purchased these, which I will put in, but I'm going to have to take them off the card, which is fine because she should be using them anyway when she gets them. So, so hopefully that's given you some insight as to what packaging we have, what you can use. Um, oh, one other thing with the hearts, as I see it laying here. When you're doing something that's shaped like the hearts like that, if you stamp them opposite, you'll get more out of your paper. So that's what I did with that. And as we've recently discovered, especially with these um, blending brushes, having something stamped like this, you can use it as a template and just color, like lay it on your paper, do your coloring, and it will make a great design for you as well. So. Hopefully that's given you some, some ideas. I will read all your comments and, and reply to them when I'm finished. Thank you for joining me. Please check out that uh, survey I've put on the website. And we will take it from there. And I will see you again next time. Take care.